All right, now we're going to bring Shane in from Telestream Wirecast. Shane, how you doing, my man? Yeah, excellent, Gary. Thanks for having me on the show. All right, as I said in the uh, in in the pre-show, a lot of times in our industry, you know, we love the products we sell, but we tend to get new version itis. We get so excited with the latest new version that we only talk about the features that are in the new version, and we forget to sell or tell people about the product we have and all that the product itself can do. So. I want to get back to some real basics here and really talk about why we feel Wirecast Pro is such a great solution for anyone and everyone who's looking to do some live streaming. And yes, it can do multicam, but you do one cam and some graphics. You can do two cams. You can do one cam and your laptop camera, your webcam, any combination you want for your show. The beauty of Wirecast is you can start small and grow over time as you get more elaborate. So at the end of this show, you're going to show us some really cool stuff that you're doing over there on your system, but we really want to go over, you know, what makes Wirecast Pro so important. And, you know, at $7.99 at that price for under a thousand bucks, it'll run on just about any PC, any Mac, laptop or desktop. And what I tell people is for basic Wirecast Pro functionality, if you've got a current Mac or PC that's two years or yet, if you bought it, see, so we know we have the pandemic, so I don't even know what two years is anymore, but let's say you got it after 2020. You're going to have no problem running Wirecast. Now, you can create a show that's so much features that you're going to need a bigger, stronger machine. But any recent machine, PC, Mac, laptop, desktop, iMac all-in-one, mini, mini, whatever you want to call those. What, what are the mini ones called? The Mac Mini? Yeah, Mac Minis or whatever the computer, Nux, whatever it is, mm -hmm. you can run it. Or you want to put it in a desktop tower. You can. You know, we're going to do better with RAM. On a PC, you can do better with discrete graphics, but the bottom line is you don't need a killer machine to be able to do some really killer fun stuff. So let's talk about Wirecast Pro. Shane, you started as a Wirecast Pro user, became a Wirecast Pro, Wirecast influencer, and then became an employee of Telestream. Very briefly, tell us about your journey and why you feel Wirecast is such a great solution for people. And you know, there's vMix out there that's really cheap, there's OBS that's free, I think Wirecast is a great place to start. I've used all three products as well. Um, and obviously I chose Wirecast. I chose Wirecast coming from an editing background. It was just the easiest transition for me to see the workflow, number one. So I understood the interface right away. Number two, I have my OG setup today. I have my original camera, my Panasonic to a laptop. This is what I did in the beginning. And I thought the same thing. I saw all these people with these moderate to heavy workflows, multi cameras, and I was just, I wasn't ready to start there. So this is a perfect time to discuss a starting point for using Wirecast and your entry into content creation. Cool. Now for Wirecast, the first thing we're going to talk about is you got to get the media in. So, you know, you could bring the media in via a capture card if you have a capture card. There are a lot of USB input devices. There's also NDI, which we're going to go to in depth the show. But you can have unlimited live inputs. You can bring in live guests via rendezvous or other potential things. You can bring in PowerPoint slides, screen sharing, wave, web feeds, multi-track audio, and more. Basically, you can get anything and everything you could possibly want into Wirecast. If you're doing House of Worship, it's very easy to have a laptop feeding in Pro Presenter. If you're a corporate guy, it's easy to get a PowerPoint like we are. Or if you're doing a training video, well, you can have your Excel or the computer software that you're training people be be an input into Wirecast and a picture in picture like we're doing or whatever you want it on the screen. And I think that's so important that it supports, it's not any media, it's all media, right? Correct. It's what Wirecast is, is basically known for is we call it a hybrid workflow. USB, SDI, NDI, HDMI, IP. What, uh, you know, what source are you trying to bring into Wirecast? And you can bring in a hybrid of those sources. So today that's what we've done as well. Your typical workflow will always be a camera or two, a presentation, a remote guests, and some sort of graphics. And Wirecast really streamlines that workflow for you. And, and you, know, you talked about graphics, but it's more than graphics. I like to talk about what I call uh, production elements, production quality, how something looks more polished. I mean, you look at our show. We've got the compute, we've got the picture in picture over there of the PIP. I've got you in there. We've got lower thirds. We can bring up on a virtual background. All this can be done in Wirecast. We've, we, we use a TriCast because mm -hmm. that's our production system here, but we've done it with Wirecast on uh, Wirecast gear as well. So let's talk about just some of the things that Wirecast can do. You can do layering and composition. Looks right. beautiful. 
Exactly that. And we've really pressed the last few years to bring all of those elements within Wirecast. So your animated lower third, your text overlays, um, bringing in all of these elements that used to be third party. Wirecast has done a fabulous job of bringing it all within the applications. So you're not having to go into third party apps to get an animated lower third or a title. You can do it all within Wirecast now. And I think well, let's also talk about the fact that it's become automated and more efficient. So you have hotkeys and automation tools. You can control PTZ controllers right from it. And it'll work with devices like X keys or uh, I forget yes. the other one, the little Logitech. What's that one called? The, the Elgato Stream Deck. Yes, the Stream Deck. Mm -hmm. So it's a cool little product. It's really grown. And what I think is important to also mention here is, is you can use any of the stuff that you want or that you don't want. It's really up to you. So what I say with people with Wirecast, it's my, my rule of fours. You know, you're going to start your show basically. And then every four shows or so, I recommend you try adding something to step up your game a little bit over time. And if you're going to get into live streaming, I, I, I want to go over this. It's not a Wirecast thing, but a couple of things you need to do to be successful. Number one is you got to pick a time and be consistent and be out there. It can be once a week, once a month, once a day, but you got to let people know where they can find you. You got to go into whatever media you think you might find your people and then zone in on the ones you actually find people. So don't automatically think you're going to find people on Facebook. It might be, it might be Instagram. It might be uh, TikTok. It might be uh, a LinkedIn, wherever. Be prepared to go to all these things till you figure out what's right. And the other thing is be prepared to learn and grow as you go. If you try to start with this monster heavy duty production, we're making that face, Shane. We've both been there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just get beat up. And duration, you're bringing up a huge point. Duration, it also defines your character. Yeah. Some people are a short format. Some are a long format. Some people, I don't want to watch for an hour. I want to watch them for a minute. So you should also know your duration of your character or of your content. And you should also know that you can record your finished output. You can record all or some of your ISO streams, which also means I can bring that into my post-production software, be it... Avid, Adobe, Resolve, Final Cut, doesn't matter. And you can cut it up. So I like live production workflow is, is do a live show and be able to cut highlights and pieces out of it for social media. Because if you even want people to watch your show, we find on our shows that we get five to 10 times the viewers in the first 48 hours that we got live. So I might get 20 or 30 people live. I'll have several hundred in the first 48 hours. And then with promoting and AdWord and keywords and SEOs and stuff, we'll get thousands of views, you know, through the whole thing. But you drive the views with shorter little teaser videos that people click to watch the big video. You know, it's a whole way of doing things. And Wirecast really lets you create great production quality elements. And you can stream wherever you want to go. You know, you can have presets for... YouTube, Facebook, any RTMP stream. So if you're a house of worship, you want to go to church worship or one of the worship CDNs, not a problem. You got the ISO recording that I talked about with the virtual camera and the microphone. And then you can output via your device, via NDI, SDI, or SRT, via IP. So there's all these flavors. It really is, at this point, Wirecast has become the Swiss army knife, I think, of you know video streaming software. And once again, it runs on everything, folks. PCs, Macs, laptops, desktops, all-in-ones, mini computers, full-size workstations. It doesn't matter. It runs great. And obviously, as your production gets more elaborate, you might need more power. And that's not a problem because Wirecast will scale with the power you give it. Exactly. You take that same application and load it up onto the larger computer. So and you bring all your old shows too. with you. Mm-hmm. Exactly. It's just growing. So one of the things that I think that, that's important that people lose sight of at times is we're, we're so used to streaming on, on these things on our phones, you know, and it's really cool. And I would say probably half the content we all consume on these phones is shot on phones. But there's something to be said for using professional level cameras where you can really get your video to look better, to pop, to be sharper, to get depth of field, to get proper framing, to work with your lighting. And basic camera skills go a long way, but you need to get those cameras into something that can take advantage of it. And Wirecast will, will, will work up to 4K, correct? Absolutely. I'm working in a 4K canvas right now with two 1080p cameras. So you're mixing resolutions right now? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, we, we are too. I, I know uh, I, I, this is th this camera over here, correct, is, is the new uh, 
4K, the Move 4K from PTZ Optics. So I'm in 4K on this side camera. Right in front of me is a CX350, but I think I'm going HD into that, right? So we're HD into that, but the, the, the good products in our field are that they can handle everything. And right. Wirecast can, and it's fantastic. It also gives you all the audio inputs you need as well. So, you know, I'm on a mic, you're on a mic, we can bring you background music, sound effects, or if I was going to play a video, it would have its own audio too. Audio mixing is crucial. In fact, what I like to tell people is, you know, if your audio is bad, no one's going to watch your video. If it's out of sync, if it's popping, if it's clipping, if it's got weird uh, stuttering or whatever, people won't watch it. They'll put up with bad video a lot longer. But when you have both, people are more engaged. They stick around. They watch your program longer. And if you're producing the content, you want people to watch it. Maybe it's for branding your company. Maybe it's for sharing your message from your church. Maybe it's for teaching people through your university. Either way, the whole point of doing this is to engage people to watch the whole thing. So production quality is important. Absolutely. That and while at NAB, I had to define Wirecast. So I tried to make the most simple explanation of Wirecast I could. And it turned out that the easiest way to tell you what Wirecast is, it's an encoder. It's a means of connecting your cameras to pull in a live stream or a live feed, let's call it. It's your switcher. So the same application is your switcher to switch from source to source and to encapsulate. It's a live production tool. As easiest way I could describe it, it's just a full live streaming production tool. That lets you produce engaging broadcast. And I think that word engagement, people forget about. And, you know, when you're trying to make a 30 or 60 second gimmicky video, you can engage people. If you go five or 10 minutes, it's a little bit harder. To get people to watch a 15 minute or longer in the attention span of the average human being on this planet now, you got to create some really good content. And Wirecast lets you do that. And it lets you stream it wherever you want to go. And not only can you stream live, but you can take your output of your PC, Mac, or whatever, and power HDMI screens in your system for overflow rules or whatever rooms. And we're going to talk about NDI. And through NDI, I can plug any TV into a decoder, and I can have the show be on that television anywhere on my network. So let's jump into NDI, because I'm going to spoil it a little later. I do my top features. I think having full NDI support and how well you guys do it is one of the things that truly sets Wirecast apart. There are other softwares that support NDI, and they absolutely do. But you guys have really been true to the full spec, having NDI 5 when 5 came out, being on the development team, developing with the folks at NDI to make sure you have the right stuff, and being really agnostic to everyone else's NDI hardware and NDI products. So one of the things we want to talk about and what makes NDI so great, if you look at this graphic we put up there, is is I can use a converter with either HDMI or SDI. I take any camera I own and now have it be NDI on my system. I can take a PTZ camera that's already NDI and bring it in. So Shane, quickly, I'm gonna, I've said it a million times, but give me your one minute synopsis. What is NDI and why is it so cool? It's meaning alone, network device interface. It literally brings all of these sources onto your network. What's the big deal about that? It means it's all in one spot. You're not fishing all these capture cards to pull in these sources. It is encapsulated into one network device, and it actually names each of those devices. So, you know, Panasonic, Bird Dog, my MacBook pumping yep. out an NDI feed. It just streamlines, or let's just say, iron out the wrinkles of all of those kind of production headaches. And what I really love is is. NDI passes the video over the network cables, so it's IP video. But you also get all the control and the two-way communication. So I control my PTZ camera. I can get tally or comms. I can actually, if I have to color correct the camera, and my I have a color correction utility, I can use it. If I have an auto tracking feature that's not in the camera but on another machine, I can use it. Every NDI device in your network sees every other NDI device. So if we've got two wirecasts, they can actually pull stuff from each other. If I've got this camera over here and I have two different wirecasts in the system, you both could be getting the feed from this camera. The tally just went on, so I know I'm on this camera. It's really amazing. So 
NDI is a game changer. And I know if you follow video guys, you know we talk about NDI all the time. But because we're rolling this Wirecast show back to the basics, it's really important to bring in the basics of NDI and why now with Wirecast on a laptop, I don't need to buy any capture cards. I don't have to worry about it. I can bring all my video in over the network, either through NDI converters or native NDI cameras. And we have PTZ cameras here. Well, guess what? The folks at Panasonic and JVC now have native NDI with their camcorders as well. And that's only going to grow more and more. The folks at Atomos just announced that they're going to have an NDI output for their their Connect-based products, which means I can put their field monitor recorder on any, on any camera. And now that'll have NDI output as well. So cool stuff going on in the world of NDI. And once again, NDI and Wirecast is a phenomenal match. It is rock solid, stable, no worries. So let's do a little special here. You know, we, we just added the folks to kill with you a few months ago. We told them we were doing a show at Wirecast. And they said, well, we, we want to help you guys out. So basically we're going to do a special where anyone who buys Wirecast Pro and any kill of you NDI converter for their existing camera, it could be the Wi-Fi one, the SDI one, the HDMI one, it could be HD or 4K. We're gonna give you a $50 instant savings coupon when you buy the two together. So you just enter that coupon into your car to check out. It'll see that you have a kill of you device. It'll see that you have the Wirecast Pro PC or Mac, we don't care, and you'll get $50 off. So that's a cool little feature. And I really, I, we're trying to make it easy for people who maybe started streaming during the pandemic and they have one camera going right out or whatever to, to grow into a more elaborate, more professional production solution. And that's what Wirecast is all about. So Shane, we've talked about this one a little bit to death, but I want to bring it up full screen anyway, because I know there's so many people, especially education space, who use Apple products and they really have been kind of left out of mainstream streaming, but that is not the case with Wirecast. Wirecast works fantastic on a Mac. It's the same interface. So if you know it on the PC, you can use it on the Mac and vice versa. It works great. And you don't have to worry that you don't have input jacks on a Mac because you don't need them. NDI takes care of it for you. The only thing I can suggest is that EWC, that Thunderbolt dock, just because we're going to have a few more connections. And that's the easiest way to bring in the Ethernet connection. A we'll good go dock is, a, is a great tech tip. Great tech mm -hmm. tip. So... There are two versions of Wirecast. We've really focused on Pro on this show because I feel having NDI output and PTZ control is so important. But if you don't need, if you just need NDI input and you don't work with PTZ controllers, you can start with the regular version of Wirecast Studio. To tell you the truth, you know, a few years ago, the pricing model was a lot different. It was more, I think Wirecast Pro, Wirecast Radio was like 50 or 100 bucks cheaper. And Wirecast Pro was like 9.99 or more. And with that spread, I really told people, you know, let's look at your budget. Now I'm really saying, you know, find the 200 bucks. There's, there's more in Wirecast Pro than we just listed there. There's some better ISO recording, other features. And I really think if you're going to go into Wirecast, I really recommend Wirecast Pro. How about you? Absolutely. Just because of the NDI feature alone. And don't forget, not just NDI coming in, but NDI out. So you can send NDI out over the network. Also with NDI Tools by 5, you can actually have an NDI source sent anywhere globally. So just yes, that $200 can. bump to get you to from studio to pro, specifically for NDI, I just think it's future-proofing and completely worth it. Yeah, it opens up those remote workflows. Cool, so speaking of workflows, I believe we're at the point of the show where you're gonna show us a little bit about what you've got going on over there. But before we, before we do, I want to just once again review these like three things about NDI that is important that you can capture uh, uh, with Wirecast. And that is you can capture IP devices, Wirecast, because it's fully NDI, it's going to see all the NDI products, sources, and things it can send to on the network. And you get a built-in web browser that can bring in live web pages, which I think is really cool, that web capture utility. So I want to give that a little bit of props. Can you talk about that a little bit and how people use that? Right. Well, so a lot of people doing lectures or scholastic kind of, you know, university level, whatever, ed higher education, um, what they're doing is a lot of this content lives on their domain, their web page. So with Wirecast, you can actually pull up that domain, interact with that web page and make it a literal live presentation instead of, you know, kind of clunking your way through YouTube or, you know, let's just say Notre Dame's website. Yep. 
you can actually access the website within Wirecast, navigate that that website while you're talking about it. So essentially a one man presentation pulling in a .com, .org. .com. And it's really awesome for training too, especially if it's a web-based interface. Like we use, we we happen to use uh, NetSuite as our, uh, as uh, for, to run the whole company in the back end, I could train my sales team on a new feature in NetSuite via Wirecast. I could bring in that interface mm -hmm. right in because it's web based. So, very cool stuff. You know, there's web based. Let's say you want to do a show on AIs or something, I could be in chat GPT showing you that screen through the HTML while we did the show. So, lots of cool stuff. But I want to jump in. And before we get into the system specs, I, I want you to show off what you've got going there. So, we're going to take me off the screen, we're gonna to go to Shane full screen, I'm gonna be mini Gary in the corner, and Shane's just gonna walk us through the gear that he's using there and how he can do a complete NDI demonstration remotely Absolutely. because of the power of the internet and the power of the web and the power of Wirecast. Absolutely, and like I said, this what this is my setup that I used for corporate events, for house of worship, uh, it's the same equipment, and fortunately, due to NDI converters, I could bring back my prosumer camcorder. So let me just kind of show you the physical setup real quick. Here is my original camera, and I'll kind of go over how I'm navigating this in a moment. But there's my original camera with an SDI out. I went from the SDI out to a SDI NDI converter. I now have a PTZ camera, all going to one switch that one switch suite feeding the NDI feed to my dock on my MacBook Pro. So old school setup workflow just got updated. And I have to say, this is one of my favorite workflows because I have a quality camcorder that like you were saying, Gary, I can pull a sweet shot, shallow depth of field, I'm in control, but also I have a camera that I can set up out of range and now control that within Wirecast. So if we look, here's just kind of a quick snapshot of my setup. And this is how I ran everything. I had my prosumer camcorder. I had Wirecast running on a laptop. I have another laptop that would feed in a presentation. I'll show you that in a moment. And so essentially two cameras, one that I can control, one that I can control remotely, a presentation and Wirecast in which to bring all of these sources together and tell the story. So if you'll notice in Wirecast, I have the, the layers and I have an intro, I have an outro, I have my sources. And what I can do is I can either dress these up with a logo, a lower third, choose the camera and let that go or take it live. Nice. And again, it's all within Wirecast. So I have a picture in picture here as well. So what the difference here is instead of using a layering system, I put all of these layers into one layer. So instead of clicking three different things, now I just click one click. And so if you think about this, this is just basically a Photoshop photo live. Yep. I have multiple elements in here. And the beauty of this is it's one click away. I do have everything connected right now. So I do have an X keys connected as well. Nice. So literally, the Usually, and Gary, you know this, the camera's pointed the other way. Yep. Yeah. So but today it's pointed on me, but just, just for the demo you, purposes, but yeah. it could be pointed to me or it could be pointed right. to the ball game or it could be if, pointed to the preacher or it could be pointed to the periodic doctor, table if it's a chemistry exactly. class. And what, the, what people forget, and I do too, I get into these moderate and heavy workflows where I have multi-viewers everywhere and I'm just at the helm running this huge production. Yep. But don't forget, this, I call this the one man band, and you can do some very powerful content creation. Absolutely. With a laptop, you can. Camera, and just a few tools like this, and using Wirecast to bring all of these elements or sources together to really tell your story. And I think that's the key it's storytelling and it's engagement, it's keeping people involved. So I want to, Shane, if you could just come back in normal, just because it's, We'll bring mm -hmm. you in on, on, on the regular shot. But I want to talk about what kind of computer you need. Because at this point, what we just saw was a rather complex shot. 
So for a complex show, we are going to recommend that you want a little more modern machine. So if we can bring this full speed, we're talking about, you know, if it's a MacBook Pro, we'd like to see you have one of the M1 Pro chips, 16 gigs of memory, running the latest version of Mac OS. If you're on Windows, yeah, i7 is okay and i9 is better. Same 16 gigs of memory. You want a dedicated GPU with at least 8 gigs of memory, and I'm going to be a little more specific. I want to see an NVIDIA GPU, and I want to see probably 12 gigs of memory just because I know how that memory can be used by Wirecast for encoding. And one of the things that puts the heaviest load on your computer is not the mixing of the show and the special effects. It's the actual encoding at the end. And I'm not talking about the encoding for NDI output. I'm talking about the encoding when I'm going to Facebook or going to YouTube or wherever my show is ultimately going. So, Shane, this was a fantastic demo. I'm very excited. I want to remind people also that you don't have to be that elaborate. You can start with a less elaborate show on a less powerful computer and grow as you need. As you get more followers, as you start getting income from it, or it starts giving your brand the strength that it needs, get a better computer. Do a more complicated show. You know, one of the things I do want to talk about, though, because I always do this when we talk about NDI, and that is, is our number one tech support solution is a Netgear M4250 switch. I know that's the heart of your system as well, and it's just incredible how... Our world has changed since Netgear introduced these AV switches. So I want to say that you want to get Wirecast Pro for sure. And the other thing, you're going to go NDI. You want to get a Netgear switch. They start as low as $599. It's going to be it's just going to make your world of IP video so much better, so much easier to set up, so much easier to maintain, a breeze to troubleshoot, and easy to scale up as you add more and more stuff. And that's one of the things that in the early days of NDI used to be the problem. You know, we'd add stuff. And then all of a sudden we'd add the thing that would break stuff. We'd never be able to figure out where it was. And oftentimes it was the switch that was getting overloaded. So I can't stress it enough. Wirecast Pro, M4250, Netgear, AV switch. You will be a happy camper in the world of NDI. Okay, what... Shane, this was a part of the show that I kind of added that I, that I want to do, do together. So I'm going to read off. These are my top five features we love about Wirecast Pro. I'm going to read off the feature, and I want you to talk about each feature a little bit after I read it off. You know, don't go too in-depth, but a little bit of, a, you know, <laughs> Shane's thoughts on, on our thoughts on this. So number five, easy to set up, use and learn, and trial versions are available. Exactly. You have some sort of idea of what you want to do, but you're not ready to purchase Wirecast download the trial. It's a fully featured trial for 30 days. Test your workflow. Give us a call if you have any questions. It's that easy to get started. Amazing. Number two, we, we, we beat this to death on the show. Works equally well, PC or Mac, desktop or laptop, same interface, same workflow, same learning, same knowledge. If I'm a Mac guy, I can train a PC guy and vice versa. It don't matter. Whichever platform or OS you use, that's what Wirecast will work on. Don't worry about having to be a Windows or Mac. Perfect. Number three, this is a full production studio, folks. You can mix video sources, picture in picture, stream, record, add graphics, and, and much more. My film instructor back in, in college told me one thing, and it stuck this whole time. The creativity or the look is here. The means is there. Make sure you 100%. know you're the creative. You're the content creator. Get that out and so people can see that with Wirecast. Tell your story. Number four, I, I think a lot of people overlook this a lot, and I think this is where Wirecast really shines, especially compared to the other less expensive kind of freemium freebie stuff. The quality of the encoder in Wirecast is second to none. In fact, Years ago, we used to recommend people use Wirecast just as an encoder where maybe they would take the output of their TriCaster or another production mixer like a Roland, and we'd say just go into Wirecast and use it for your encoder. The encoding is that good. And nowadays, when we're trying to encode into multiple formats in 4K and HD and different sizes and different frame rates, quality's king. Exactly. It's been over 10 years. It's been tens of thousands of customers, and all of them would agree with, we have a great encoder. Yeah, and it taps into all the GPU and all the uh, CPU you'll give it. So as your computer gets stronger and stronger, you can encode more and more. And in fact, I know people who have two Wirecast Pros, 
and they'll have the output of the whole big show because it's so complicated go into another laptop or PC that does nothing but run the encoder. Next, last but not least, NDI, baby. No need for capture cards. Even, I was to say one thing. If you just have a single Ethernet camera, it has a predetermined IP address, and you can literally just plug it straight in. Yep. You may have to cha change the, if you're on a Mac, you'll have to change your static IP address. Not hard. But literally, yes, you can plug it in, and it's ready to go. No capture card needed. Now, now you and I were talking before the show as we were going through our technical run-through, we thought of two additional, I'm not going to call them top five, but bonus features we think are worth mentioning. The first one is a little puppy we call Rendezvous. So just explain what Rendezvous does for our audience because it's really cool. It's our webinar platform built into Wirecast. So essentially what we're doing is instead of having the Brady Bunch webinar platform, you're sending out a link for someone to join by webcam and mic and we'll bring them into Wirecast as a source. So a great resource for your remote presenters, up to seven guests and easy for the guests. They click a link, choose their camera, choose their audio, and they're an available source in Wirecast. And their camera could be their laptop's camera or their phone's camera. And then you talked about Brady Bunch, so let, let, let's, you can't beat them, join them. We got, a, we got some integrations coming with some of those Brady Bunches down the road, don't we? And that's the other feature that's coming soon to Wirecast. Rendezvous is here. This is a, this is a sneak peek yes. feature. So we did it. We have full integrations with Zoom. So you can nice. start a Zoom meeting, you can join a Zoom meeting and pull up to 15 guests from that Zoom meeting into Wirecast. Way to go. So Shane, thanks as always. We've done a lot of shows before. Before we leave, I, I wanna mention that today's show was really focusing on Wirecast because it's the software that we're featuring. We still have available the Wirecast gear, but we really wanted to talk about Wirecast because Wirecast gear is a heavy duty workstation pre-configured to run Wirecast Pro. And if you want that, because you want an all-in-one solution that's overkill for most people, that's a great way to go. But we we think we kind of lost track of telling people just how good Wirecast was. So that's why we kind of downplayed the gear, but gear is still available and there's a great special going. I believe it's 23% off on the different gear boxes, SDR, HMI. So if people want a fully configured solution for in the six to $8,000 range, there's the Wirecast gear family there. But today's show was really focusing on Wirecast Pro, phenomenal live production software, powerful streaming, Mac or PC, laptop, desktop. It runs on anything and everything. Shane, great show. Thanks for that demo. It was really cool. You're really pushing it there. And that's all your old school stuff. When, he, when Shane says old school, he was running shows in church, House of Worship during the pandemic from his home with that setup. So, Oh, yeah. Great job, buddy. Thanks for being on the show. Whenever I have a guest on the show, I always like to give them the final last word. So, Shane, take it away. Wirecast, Wirecast Pro, whatever your entry into streaming and content creation is, Realize that video guys, Telestream, we're here for you. Uh, happy to answer all of your questions. Um, walk through your setups, suggest any cameras, microphones, all of that. Use us as a tool, as a resource. Always here to help. Happy to talk. Cool. Thank you again, Gary. Thank you for being on the show. Reminding everyone, you know, Facebook Live, YouTube Live. Like us on Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, our, our social media and Twitter, uh, on Twitter, our blog on videoguys.com. You can also watch the show on the broadcast channel that we have feeding right into our website on Video Guys Live. This is Gary from Video Guys. Like us, love us, and all that social media. Give us a call at 800-323-2325 with any of the questions you have. Because the guys running this show use Wirecast. They can help you with any questions you have about video production, video editing, content creation, storytelling. We're here to help you get the most out of the bang for your buck with whatever gear you're looking to get to create the best possible content you can. This is Gary from Video Guys. Peace. Video Guys is available Monday through Friday. Give us a call at 1-800-323-2325. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram to stay connected with all of our updates. And you can like us on Facebook. Keep an eye out for our live videos, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.